Now on the news today that Britain's most senior judge has criticised sections of the press for their coverage of the Article 50 court ruling, which said that Parliament had to be consulted before the formal process for leaving the European Union was triggered. Uh, let's speak to the former editor of The Sun, Kelvin McKenzie, who joins us. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. So Lord Newberger um, said that some of the press had undermined the rule of law in their coverage of the Article 50 case. I mean, headlines like calling the judges enemies of the people. What, what, what do you think about the, the, the way some of the papers treated the judges? Oh, I, I, look, this is a bit of rough and tumble involving newspapers who have been attacking judges for various for various reasons whether it's divorce or or, or or not giving stiff enough sentences Nuremberger is overly sensitive on this issue we are in a world where you get attacked morning noon and night on Twitter or on Facebook or in the press or even might I say by BBC uh, presenters so he is being oversensitive and he is quite wrong when you get an important issue like Brexit being decided by uniquely for the first time, I think, in 43 years by a referendum, you're going to get big reactions on both sides. So I defend the right of a newspaper to give, um, uh, to give a rather large raspberry uh, to a controversial decision. But was it more than a raspberry when, when, I mean, that headline, for example, enemies of the people, do you, do you think that the, maybe the, the papers just overstepped the mark too, too much? And, and as Lord Newberger said, they've undermined the rule of law. Well, they certainly haven't undermined the rule of law. They've added to simply a debate going on outside um, the, the, uh, the legal uh, entity uh, called the Supreme Court and there is nothing wrong with that that we call that free speech surely he's not indicating that that free speech should have a limit in relation to the Supreme Court and a judgment which had an enormous impact on a number of people it's quite wrong this one of the issues we have in our country right now is that we don't know who our Supreme Court judges are we don't they are they are they are chosen in some rather curious way up in the ether or something like that I'd be massively in favor of the American system where judges have to go before um, uh, uh, the politicians and talk about how they view things like abortion, how they view things like hanging on those big issues because we need balance in our country in the judiciary as well as in the public. For the first time in my lifetime we've seen the liberal consensus being pushed back at the ballot box. That should be reflected in our judiciary in the same way as it is in America. Lord Newberger's other criticism was politicians saying that they weren't quick enough or vocal enough to defend the judges when, when we saw those newspaper headlines. Well, I, I don't see why. I, 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 th I think that what he was referring to was the, uh, the Justice Secretary, uh, Liz Truss, not coming out all guns blazing within a couple of minutes of saying, isn't it disgraceful what the Daily Mail is saying? Why should she? Why should she? Perhaps, perhaps she didn't really feel like that. And why shouldn't she think that actually, why should judges be cocooned from the criticism which their judgment was, was, was designed to make? I suppose one of the criticisms is, but by calling them enemies of the people or saying it's the judges versus the people, it was implying that they were politically motivated, going against what people had decided in the referendum, as opposed to what they would say, which was just deciding on a narrow point of law. Well, look, it, depending on whether you come from, the, from one side of the argument or the other, from the liberal or the centre-right or whatever, you're going to have a view of what that law looks like. And I, actually, I would have thought that quite a few people would have thought enemies of the people and that their judgment was being pushed to one side. Now, they claim it's the law that's doing that, right? Well, actually, you know, other people might say, well, actually, you looked at the law incorrectly. The government would say, Mrs. May's government said you looked at the law incorrectly. They cannot sit above the argument and nor can they sit above criticism. It is a preposterous and rather... Nuremberg is a very, very clever guy. By the way, uh, Lord Nuremberg's wife, of course, issued tweets um, uh, about uh, Brexit. Uh, perhaps 
you know, I, I don't, I'm not suggesting that he was influenced by his wife's tweets, but it does indicate that within the Nuremberg household that there was more going on than was revealed uh, at the time. Uh, very briefly, you know, you were a famous newspaper editor with some pretty famous headlines. Would you have been happy to, to write a headline like Enemies of the People? Do you know, I would have been delighted. But uh, <laughs> I, 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 can get in, I, can, I can get into trouble in, a, in an empty phone book. <laughs> we know that, we know that. Uh, Kelvin McKenzie, former editor of The Sun, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for your time.